Hello everybody, it's me, your old pal Double D. Yep, back from our trip. We've actually been back for a couple weeks now, but I got sick and then got laryngitis, so I couldn't make this video. So we're going to talk about the trip. Hold on a minute, let me adjust this. There we go. Sorry about that, I haven't used a video camera in a long time. Um... Well, we went to Paris and London for our 20th anniversary. It was going pretty good the first day. I mean, don't get me wrong. Flying is a pain, but seats are tiny. Food was awful. But when we got there, we decided to go for a walk. Now, we walked basically everywhere. because we. So, as you know, I pull. So we had to do the uh, whole walking everywhere thing because we couldn't really afford a taxi or anything like that. We were staying at a hotel near the Tower of London and we walked all the way down the riverfront. And then we walked up to the palace because as you know my SO smooches really likes to queen and she wanted to pay her respects. So we went to the palace, and what happens after we leave the palace grounds, we walk down to the guard museum. That's why I noticed her bag was open. Yeah, she got pickpocketed. And frickin' in front of the palace, which pissed me off. So I, well, what really made me mad was, you know, we got pickpocketed, it happens. But we walked back, didn't see a single police officer the entire time. No one. No one would tell us where we could find a police station. Because, you know, you got to file a the paperwork in order to put in anything so we can get your license renew, fit, returned. or So you don't get charged for credit card debt because they took two of her cards. 250 in, uh, pounds and 100 in U.S. cash plus, you know, her two credit cards and her little driver's license and stuff like that. They tried using the credit cards for some, some sort of cleaning place in Budapest. Of course it got denied because it was over her limit. But that could have been horrible. And um, yeah. And I wrote a letter to the king. I know, stupid of me, but I'm angry. I already sent it out. I also wrote the Prime Minister, I know again a waste of time because they're fucking idiots. Sorry, that was rude. I apologize. But they are. And of course I sent a copy to the BBC and uh, one to a local paper over there called The Mirror. I don't know anything about it, but it said England's most popular paper on the front when I bought it at the newsstand. But you know, they won't ever do any stories because we're tourists and nobody gives a shit about tourists. Okay, I'm going to read you the letter. I wrote to King Charles. Yeah, you get no honorifics from me. I'm writing due to a occurrence that happened on a recent trip to London. We came to London as part of our 20th anniversary, and after four years, I finally saved up enough for the trip. I work retail, so it took a while, and it was no frill, so we basically had to walk everywhere, as I mentioned before. Anyway, my SO has always been a fan of your late mother. We decided to walk to the palace from my hotel near Tower Bridge. I should mention that my SO is 68 and walks with a cane. You pickpockets should fucking die. I'm sorry, that was rude again. They should just get their hands cut off. Um, it took some time. We got there, we walked around, and then down to the garden museum. That's why I noticed her bag was open and her wallet was gone. They took her credit cards, driver's license, various medical cards, such as her Corbett card, because we didn't know if we were going to need that or not, and plus her insurance cards, which we, you know, we got replaced. Uh, 250 pounds, 100 U.S., the money for our trip, not to mention the expense of replacing the cards. You know, it happens. Now that is bad, but what makes it worse is that we could not find a police officer anywhere, nor any indication of a police station. And when we asked people at the metro who worked there, no one either knew or they were just being rude, one or the other. They can step in front of a train. I didn't write that. That's just my personal opinion. 
subway was comfortable though. I went on one. No, I'm I'm getting sidetracked. And it happened right in front of the palace on Monday, October seventh, twenty twenty four, between two and three p.m. Because I took pictures and my pictures are time stamped, so I know about what time. Why do you have no security in that area? I get that we are just tourists and no one cares about us, but that's just insane. By the way, the palace just looks like a bunch of blocks. It's not impressive. Westminster Abbey, that's impressive. Uh, and then to report it, we had to go use a website. We had to go on a website to report a theft. Which I'm sure is never checked. Hold on, I gotta scroll down. I always respected the English police. Love TV shows starring them. But now they disgust me. Does London have no police? Oh, we saw cars speed by with sirens during our stay, but that's it. Not a single member of security anywhere. Uh, even the staff at the hotel said we were wasting our time by calling the police. That's sad. Your own people don't trust your own cops. Then I wrote how they tried to use the card in Budapest. Uh, they are organized and brazen since they know the law will never try to get rid of them. And I know the police don't care about tourists or even post people in the hot spots. Because when we went to the London Eye, it took me maybe 10 minutes to spot a group of pickpockets. Yes, I did see some there. And there are three men, one woman. They never tried any rides. They just kept walking around pushing a piece of luggage. There's a hint. If you're in a public place and you got your luggage with you, they're probably pickpockets. Oh, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked there. Where was I? But again, no police in sight. That's why I'm advising people to stay away from London. Don't go to London. The experience ruined our entire trip. I mean, losing the money was bad, but the cards are worse. Because everything in that town seems to run on cards. It does. Even the street vendors only use credit cards. Stupid. Uh, and I so wanted to love London. My family come from the UK around 1790. I love BBC TV. Heck, I'm a descendant of William the I. Now, I don't know, basically four years of savings and planning flushed down the loo. I used the English term there. I thought that was quite nice. I'm a poor man who just wanted to treat his heart to one great 20th anniversary vacation. Ruined by not feeling safe the rest of the time we were in London. Why didn't I feel safe? No freaking police officers anywhere. So why am I writing? Mostly because your city lacks Karen made my love cry. When she cried, I, was, I want to kill people. And I will hate you for eternity for that. Yes. But I'll say you owe us 5,000 pounds. Half the cost of my vacation. I know we won't see it, just as I know no one will do anything about the unlawfulness in the tourist areas. But I'm writing it anyways. I know I won't see no money, but... And I know 5,000 doesn't mean a damn thing to them. They waste more on underwear. Oh, I thought I saw Kate 1.2. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked again. Frankly, a monarch should be strong for his people, and I don't see that. I know you have no real power, but still, shame on you. I will curse your name till I die and beyond. Uh, so thank you for negating the last four years of my hard work as a poor man to save up for this trip. I am a sending a copy to the yada, yada yada. I know nothing will be noticed and will end up in the trash, but it had to be written. From me, and I put down my address. And I also wrote down that I hope you get better from the cancer, because I lost my mom to cancer, and that hurts a lot. But that had nothing to do with the fact that I'm pissed. I mean, losing the money was one thing. We, uh, it took me four years to save up that. Ten grand, basically, is like half a year take home for me. But, you know, it's once in a lifetime, 20th anniversary. Not to mention, yeah, they they were right out in public. I didn't go back to the palace to look for that guy because I'm afraid I may have done something bad to him. But still, if I ever got my hands on him, and I will be waiting in hell for you, just so you know. 
Uh, not to mention the criminals of London. I'm talking about the real deal, not these freaking pickpocket losers. These guys are costing you money. Why are you standing for it? And the people who work there, I mean, right down near the London Eye, it's a stretch where a lot of tourists are. They're everywhere there. Why is there no security? You like our money. Thankfully, we prepaid for most of our things like the Eye and Madame Tussauds. Okay, that's the only two things we prepaid for. But still, it's horrible. Why is no one protecting the tourists? I mean, just post a couple of security guys. You see people standing around. They're not getting on the rides. They're just standing there all day, every day. Yeah, how about doing some investigation? Maybe check to see who keeps going to the money exchanger and exchanging various countries' money for English money. Or maybe go against those international people who are selling credit card numbers to places in Budapest. You know you can find them. The internet is doable. But you just don't care. And that makes me angry. I mean, we went to Paris after that, and Paris was a freaking dream. It was nice. People were nice. I mean, when we were in London, we met seven. I counted seven nice people. That was it. Everybody else was rude or crude. Okay, I don't count workers in stores and stuff because they, they're generally nice people. I work retail. I'm, I'm losing track again. The fact is, do better. It's just freaking sad. You made my woman cry. I've been with her for 20 years. She means the world to me. Freaking make me want to puke. Why am I posting this video? To tell any tourist who's going to London, one, don't go in groups less than three if you're going down near the tourist area. Two, just don't go. They don't deserve your money. There really ain't nothing to see there. I mean, you can go down, get on the eye, go around once, get on the London hop on, hop off, see all the cool sights, get the hell out. And, you know, the monarchy is just pretty much worthless. I mean, there weren't even any security guards. When I went to D.C. and saw the White House, there were freaking armed guards. Here in, there in ain't London, nobody. And you know the king was there because the flag was out. Uh, I do recommend Madame Tussauds, so the place is pretty cool. That will be a different video where I tell actually good things that I liked about places. Maybe I'll have Helen in that one. Uh, what else? I really can't think of anything else. I pretty much vented my spleen. Thank you for listening to that. Uh, please follow me on here, YouTube. Uh, we will be doing more trips, hopefully around, well, we won't be leaving the country again. Cause I can't afford that anymore. <laughs> I'm old. I don't make a lot of money. 20th anniversary was a very special trip. Half of it was ruined for that. Never forgive you all. And I will be waiting in hell for you. Because that's where I'm going. And you're coming with me. But, again, there were seven nice people. That'll be a different video where I'm not so angry. And I'm still angry after being back. Well, we got there on the 5th. This happened, when the, what's the date? The 7th? And, uh, well, we left on the 5th. Yeah, I think it was the 7th. And I've been, oh, I'm still angry. I think they should go back to hanging heads from Tower Bridge. Or maybe hiring some detectives who can actually do their job. Protect the tourists. They're bringing money to your freaking city. I mean, we couldn't go out to eat after that, so local businesses got hurt. I doubt these freaking pickpockets are going out to restaurants. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for letting me vent my spleen. And with that, I give you a fond adieu. One, stay away from London. Two, go to Paris. And have a nice day. With that, Double D.